This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. More than 50 people now displaced from their homes after an apartment building fire in Little Havana. This is on Southwest 7th Street near 10th Avenue. Firefighters say they got the call after 1 o'clock this morning. The fire apparently started in an electrical room. It was so hot it even blew out a unit's window. The Red Cross is helping the 12 families who live there find somewhere else to stay. No word on the cause of the fire. Now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. There are more developments and setbacks on our bumpy road to reopening. Here's what you need to know. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez has restored a countywide curfew. It's from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. beginning tonight until further notice. Also in Miami-Dade, all entertainment venues that were allowed to reopen, including most casinos, must close back up immediately. And the rules on masks have become stricter. If you are dining inside a restaurant in Miami-Dade, you must keep your mask on, except when actually eating or drinking. These changes come after Florida confirms more than 10,000 more people are infected with COVID-19. About a third of those cases are in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. An 11 year old boy from Miami Dade County has become Florida's youngest victim of COVID-19. How he contracted the disease is unknown. We have new details this morning about a violent confrontation at Miami International Airport involving a Miami-Dade police officer. That officer is on the verge of getting fired. He has been identified as Anthony Rodriguez. Yesterday morning, we showed you video of him hitting Paris Anderson on social media. A police report says Anderson was denied boarding because she was late for her flight when she became aggressive. The police union president says the officer defended himself with what's called a diversionary strike. Diversionary strike, I mean, to the naked eye, that looks like a punch in the face. I know what it looks like, but it was an open hand slap. It was an open hand uh, slap. If it was a punch, I don't believe she would have been standing. But Miami Dade's mayor says the officer went too far. He has apologized to Anderson on behalf of the county. A seven year old boy is fighting to survive after being shot in the head. There is shock and grief in this Fort Lauderdale neighborhood where young Grayson Pl Plummer lives with his mom. Neighbors told CBS 4 that they had been concerned for the child's safety. One reported hearing possible gunfire to police two months ago, and others saw fireworks used this week. You have a child, a child of all things. That little boy, I pay him to come and just like do little things around my yard, everything else. And now, this is just unbelievable. Police say foul play is not suspected and they do not know if charges will be filed. Now, CBS4 weather. Good morning, South Florida. This Friday, waking up to very warm temperatures. While most of the area were in the upper 70s and low 80s this morning, uh, overnight, and by the sun came up, uh, 86 degrees. So that's the morning low in Key West. Pretty impressive. So very warm start. Now that the sun is up, we're going to heat up really fast, and the feels like temperatures are going to reach into the triple digits yet again. Up to 105 degrees, that's what it could feel like out there. But the actual high for today, 94 degrees and a chance of afternoon thunderstorms. For the July forecast for tomorrow, chance for thunderstorms once again. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11. Follow today's important headlines.